Wow, it's time for another show full of tips and ideas from the sales growth leadership expert, Dean Akers. Known for his experience in hyper-growing companies and creating cultures for high-performance teams, here's Dean. Well, welcome to your Sales and Leadership Ninja Show. I'm your head ninja, Dean Akers, and every week I bring you a rant to stimulate your thinking in either the realm of leadership or sales, and sometimes just plain old pure personal development. So today's show is a passionate show about this past week for me. And as most of you know that follow me, my rants generally come from something that's happened or really triggers something to help people. So today's show is get rid of your job. That's right, <clears throat> get rid of your job. So these times that we're in right now have been crazy. They're the craziest I've ever experienced in my life. And uh, with all this craziness, the pandemic, social equality, and all the other noise it's created, it's the perfect time to reflect back on where you are in your life. This year I turned 69. And as I reflect back on my life, I can capture the various chapters that have been written, if you will. And as you reflect back on your life, you're gonna find there's chapters that have been written. Most of them you haven't had control on, yet some you have, whether it's getting your college degree or whatever. So you've had these different chapters in your life. Personally, for me, I've worked hard on writing my chapters. I know many of us have had chapters that define us and they become the, the thing of who we are today. So this re week, after a number of visits with uh, different people, and I have breakfasts and lunches all the time with all kinds of different people, CEOs, uh, young people, uh, <clears throat> some of our transitioning veterans, all kinds of different people. And so as I've done, I've sensed the need to really talk about this opportunity of writing your own chapters and having more control on your financial success and, quite frankly, your personal satisfaction. I bet by now you're asking yourself, wow, what in this world is this crazy guy talking about now? With the title of a show, Getting Rid of Your Job, he must be nuts. So here's what I'm talking about. I know in some of our previous shows I've ranted about it, but here it goes again. As I visit with so many people and the people that have reached out and we connected, I found common themes. As they're updating me with their various challenges or changes that are going on in their lives, it becomes clear that they're trying to just figure things out. Whether it's getting a job, what to do in retirement, disliking their current job or their current leadership manager or whatever. The list goes on and on and on. So I'm gonna share a technique that's always worked. Operative word, always. So what I want you to do is I want you to look in the mirror and be very honest with yourself and share with yourself and or a friend of yours that you have trust in what your passion is. When I'm dealing with people and I ask them this question, I go, so what's your passion? I get what I call almost the name rank serial number answer, the, the typical answer that you're supposed to get. Why well, I need a job, my passion's my family, you know, blah, 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 blah. This is a very, very difficult process because we have been, we have been raised to color within the lines. And when you come clean with this and you really start reflecting what your passion is, is it makes a huge difference. And as you open up to yourself and or the people you're sitting with, in my case, the people that sat with me as I keep bugging them and bugging them and bugging them about what their passion is, and they finally go, damn it, Dean, here's what I like to do, big deal. And they always tell me that, and they, they almost expect me to go, oh, well, that was stupid. You shouldn't be thinking that way. Well, guess what? When you do this, when you go through this process, when you look in the mirror and say, today, I'm gonna to head in the direction of making my passion 
my new reality and, and, and the new chapter in my life, your life will change forever. I want to share with you a couple stories. So I had a young man I was meeting with. He was challenged, had a kid out of wedlock. His mom was upset. He was in his 20s. He was meeting with me, and he just couldn't get it together. He just he was working as a laborer, just every box you want to check. And so I asked him what his passion was. And he looked at me, and he goes, well, you know, he just starts stuttering. It's like I ask him some crazy question. And finally, he looked at me, and he goes, well, what my passion is, you can't, you can't make a job out of it or whatever. And I looked at him, I go, well, that, I didn't ask you what you could make out of it. All I asked you was one question. What's your passion? It was my passion and all my buddies' passion is skateboarding. I go, really? You can't make money skateboarding? Tell that to Tony Hawk. And he started laughing. I said, we're going to help you make money skateboarding. He goes, what are you talking about? And so this young man said, I can't make money. Well, then we sat down and I said, I want you to go design a logo. I want you to tell me what your group is, which you came back with me. And I want you to tell me in very short what your group stands for and what you stand for. And what he came back with that day, or not that day, but a week later, he came back with a logo, went on Fiverr, I showed him what to do. He invested like 20 bucks, came back with a logo, and uh, he has this group, and he has this name of this group, and I don't always share all this for privacy, and he told me the name of the group. And then he shared with me his three prongs of his group, and it was financial goals and progression. His group of, quote, losers was financial goals and progression. Now, if you're listening or watching right now, you got to be saying to yourself, what? This is crazy. This kid came back with financials, goals, and progression. It was unbelievable. So what we did was, is we said, now how do you monetize it? Well, he set up websites. He set up social media. He now sells custom boards, skateboards sells retro shoes and other stuff. But more importantly, and his t his group skateboards, and they skateboard all over the area, and he's got this passion of skateboarding that now he's monetizing, but more importantly, it's giving him new energy. And oh, by the way, he was a laborer in his job. He's in the electrical business as a laborer. He's now a master electrician. Go figure. Second story. This gentleman, he's a retired Navy SEAL, scuba diver. Unbelievable. He he says to me one day, we're talking, and I go, what's your passion? Because he's trying to figure out his job or whatever. He goes, well, my passion scuba diving. I've done it all my life. I said, then that's what you're going to do. And he goes, but there's no money in it. And I said, that's that self-talk. And by the way, we've had show after show about self-talk. I said, when you follow your passion, you'll never work another day in your life. Let's model it out. And he started telling me about how competitive it was. And I looked at him, I go, you need to just tell anybody that tells you it's competitive or that you're competing against the YMCA or some other freaking guy. You need to look at him and go, wait a minute. You want to learn how to scuba dive from some guy in a swimming pool that teaches people and dives in swimming pools? Or you want to learn from a guy that's done all these thousands of dives for our country as a Navy frickin' SEAL. Well, that answer's stupid. Of course, they want to learn from a SEAL. And guess what? He goes on to open it up, his practice of scuba diving, everything's doing unbelievable now, a super success story, but more importantly, he's following his passion. And when you follow your passion, you never work another day in your life, and you monetize it. And lastly, probably my favorite story is my own son. My own son loves roller coasters. And his passion is roller coasters. So when he gets out of college, he goes to work for a theme park group here in the Florida area. And then he goes on to open three theme parks. And now he's working on opening the largest theme park in the world in China. When you go with Doug to a theme park, 
he is a fast pass. He knows people in the industry. He's a he's he's in his late thirties now. He's an industry executive leader. He is passionate about it. And I always joke with people. I go, how hard do you think he works? And they go, he must bust his butt. And I go, honestly, I don't think he's ever worked a day in his life because he's following his passion. And no, oh, by the way, I'm so proud of him anyway, but he's following his passion in the theme park industry. He's riding roller coasters for a living. Are you kidding me? So I promise you, if you come clean with your passion, you'll be able to monetize it. And if you need help, you'll be able to reach out to me and I will help you do that. I promise you, when you monetize and follow your passion, you'll never work another day in your life. The good energy that comes from the process will make you smile and you will become the best version of yourself. I promise it. Again, thanks for letting me be part of your journey. I love all my listeners, and I always hope that what I share with you will really help you every week. And get, just reach out to me if you ever want to at dean at deanacres.com, and I'll be happy to set up a Zoom call. Again, these stories I'm telling you are people that have reached out. We've made a difference in their life. That's my passion, quite frankly. This podcast is part of my passion. My passion is helping you. For again, thanks for tuning in every week. And if you really want to have some fun with this follow your passion and self-talk stuff, just get my book, Self-Talk. Think like a child, read it, and then call me if that didn't help you discover the method to following your passion. I want all of you to have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Let's go out there and follow our passion. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. Subscribe today to our podcast and send questions or thoughts to help at deanacres.com. Also, visit us at www.deanacres.com to listen to prior shows and view helpful videos. Also, great tips to download. Thanks again. See you next week.